Hi all, I am hopping on to help you through how to make the table of contents on your prospectus or dissertation or any larger work. Um, there are some benefits of doing that. One of them is that you can um, navigate it a little more easily. If you open the sidebar, you'll see thumbnails often open, but navigation is open here. I've already done this one, but you can see that that allows me to hop between the sections. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so you will have that as an option. And then also you can use it to make your table of contents for your actual physical dissertation or um, prospectus. So the first thing is um, when you went through and made your document, you probably just kind of automatically knew what style guide you were using. You just used it because we've learned it over the years. Um, you need to adjust that a little bit. So the easiest way to do that, you're going to do that through the styles pane. We're actually going to do everything through the styles pane. So separate the first, uh, highlight the first um, heading. This will be your chapter heading. Uh, if you open the styles pane here, um, what you'll see is um, you've got all these heading one, two, three. That's what we're going to use to make our thing. So um, this will be our heading one um, because that is we're going to have heading one throughout in all the chapter titles. So uh, use this little drop down here and do update to match selection. I've already done this. All that does is take the formatting you already did here and load it into this heading formatting. It also appears up here. You can see that now this is highlighted as heading one. Um, the next thing I need to find what's going to be my heading two, which are just my um, regular headings within the document, right? We would probably not call that title a heading. We are for now. Um, but so our headings are kind of second level headings here. We're going to call this heading two, do the same thing, um, pull this drop down, update to match selection. Now let, I'm going to just add one in here. Let's say that I also had, uh, I wanted a subheading and so this is going to be like italicized probably, right? subhead about literature or whatever that's going to be about. So I just added that here. So um, I'll highlight that and then that'll be my heading three. Update to match selection. So now you can see I've got um, heading three matches this. Cool. Okay, so now the only thing we need to do is go through and make sure that our headings and our subheadings correspond with what we're doing here. So highlight, we want this to be our heading one. So heading one. Some of this is going to have already been done. I'm going to scroll and scroll until this is, it's a little tiny bit tedious. Um, so that'll be heading two. This is going to be heading three. That's a heading two and so on. Okay, so as I said, I've already done this. So let's say now this is your whole dissertation and now we need to add the table of contents. So I'm going to insert a page break. That gives me my page that the table of contents will be on. We'll center this. Um, no doubt what your grad school will have uh, requirements for the formatting here. I'm just gonna kind of go with the basic format. Um, so I put my table of contents header there, and then I'm going to go up to insert, and then I'm going to go down to index and tables. I'll choose table of contents. It seems like this isn't going to work, right? Because Word never works this well, but trust me. From template, we want, and then um, you can choose if you want level one through three. Usually, my experience is the dissertation committees um, want like two levels, so let's do two levels. Um, that's just going to be your chapter headings, that's heading one, and then the just the first level of subheadings. But you could do three if you want to, that's up to you. Let's just do two for now. Um, we do want page numbers, we want right aligned, um, and then the hyperlinks is going to let you link from the table of contents to that section if you want that. So let's say, okay. Whoa, look at it! And so if it was a whole dissertation, obviously all your chapters would be listed here. Um, now from here, you can also format how you need to. So um, for example, maybe you want that second one indented um, appropriately. Well, I don't know why that didn't work. Maybe it'll work better for you. 
Um, but you can go through then and, um, oh my gosh, I hate it when I try to do one of these videos and then something doesn't work. It's so rude. Anyway, you can go through and format this the way you would any other text, right? There we go. And probably you want this to be all double spaced, so maybe we want to do that, etc. Um, when you click out of this form field, then you'll see that it's not highlighted anymore. And then the last trick, you've got all your page numbers too. It's very fancy. The last trick is if you, I'm hitting control um, and clicking in here, um, I can now do update field and update the page numbers or the entire table if my heading titles have changed. So this is really useful if you make revisions, right? Because if so let's say I need to add three paragraphs to the how silence came to equal death section. Well, that might push this to 26 and 35. That is a pain. All you have to do um, after you make your revisions is just do this update field, update your page numbers, and it will adjust based on what you have um, revised. So it really does save you a lot of headaches. Like I said earlier, then if you go to view and in the sidebar you can choose navigation, um, that also is going to allow you then to jump to these different sections and trust that if you are a person who is revising a dissertation as a whole dissertation and or a person who is revising a dissertation as a book, it is very, very useful to be able to jump between sections, see all your sections. So. I hope that was helpful. Please feel free to share if it's useful. Um, and I hope you have happy dissertation or prospectus writing.